All right, next up then, Turf Moore be Burnley versus Wolves. Uh, Johnny, coming to you now, uh, we've seen Burnley bravely battle back against Chelsea. They were 2-1 down. They were 10 men down as well. Um, you know, they did very, very well to to peg Chelsea back. Obviously, Chelsea are dog shit, and that kind of contributed to it. Um, but looking at the table now, Burnley are only four, they're only four points from safety. I thought they were six points, but they're only four points from safety. They've, they're unbeaten in three games. Is it kind of one of those things where it may be too little, too it's it's hard to say too little, too late because there's nine games left, but you kind of just see like how they were for the majority of the season. It's hard to see them kind of making such a big run to make up those points. All I'm thinking is we're sat here after game week 38 and Burnley have finished 16th and company like I told you was too easy. Thought it'd be harder. That's all I see in my head is that dirty bastard weighted. And there's nine games yeah. right, go on, we're gonna go for it now. In, <laughs> in, in, in fairness, in fairness with Burnley, like that's a that's a huge point gain where they look at say their relegation rival Sheffield, they lost two points yeah, over the weekend. Lost two. It's massive. Um, yeah, and that's like, huge. this is the perfect this is the time, like you said, nine games left. That's that's a quarter of the season, it's still to go. Yeah. Obviously, um, like not in the forest, points deductions like helped it out, helped them that's out it. incredibly well. Because so. other than that, yeah. it would have been you know eight points, and that would have been probably look at this. Too much, but we can't say there's no chance and as bad as Burnley have been and they've been shocking all season and we've said it time and time again even Turf Moor has not been the place where it used to be used to be terrified to go there used to hate going there but there's still time there's time for anybody it's nine games it's yeah. massive so here you go even mini league can yeah, you get no, out like, of can you get out of like, this is the we're getting to the really kind of this is it, fun stage now because they play Everton mm-hmm. Forest and oh. Sheffield United in their last nine games, oh, huge, yeah. huge six points. Yeah. Win yeah. three games. Uh, next weekend they, they play um they play uh, Everton, so you know mm. that could be could be incredible. Like, and confidence yeah, you know, this time it is this especially down the top bottom of the table around this time of the season. It's who it's not even about who plays the best football or anything like that. It's it's confidence. It's as Rob said. It's they gained the point at the weekend and Sheffield lost two points. Yeah. That's a massive confidence boost for. Uh, like a confidence boost for Burnley and a knock for Sheffield. So this game of the season is momentum and confidence. We've seen time and time again. Remember Sunderland stayed up out of nowhere. We've seen it last. We saw it last season. Bournemouth did it. One team does it every year. Yeah, They're guaranteed they come back from the dead. We thought it was Luton, and but that was a bit early. Maybe it's not. Maybe it could be Burnley. You now they could go and get bet this weekend. Yeah, and that would kill it. But there is definitely a lot more twists and turns left in this Premier League oh, this season. Yeah. Nine games is huge. It's loads. Yeah, yeah. Like, so there's more than enough time. Definitely. Yeah, Rob, uh, same with you now. For We'll move on to Wolves. Uh, obviously, they're in that little, I said little, that massive pack of teams like in the, in the hunt for Europe. We've obviously talked numerous times about Gary O'Neill and the good job he's done. You know, Pedro Neto being out, Huang is kind of injured now for a little while. I don't think his is uh, season ending, but I think Neto is out for the season. But um. <laughs> You know, only four injuries to key players. You know, the lost wing as well for the the, uh, the Asian Cup. Um, you know, I think Wolves probably have been hard done by you. Obviously, we've touched on numerous times with VAR kind of fucking them over as well. Um, yeah. You'd say maybe Wolves are probably the most unlucky team in the league right now. But, um, you know, they could be further up the table. This is a game they'll probably be looking to win and make up points on, on those European mm-hmm. places. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, you talk about being unlucky. Like, sure, had, had no money to spend as well over the summertime. Yeah. Now that doesn't that doesn't mean success either. Um, you know, you're not guaranteed just by signing players to have, have success, but it didn't help, of course, that it just offloaded and they didn't bring in anyone. So, uh, and and the late change of manager appointment as well wasn't wasn't helpful with uh, that we going. It's a huge game for them just to get back into the mix in that kind of dizzy area of of clubs. Um, where no one can get on, um, no one can get a streak going. So you're taking Burnley, as Jonathan said, Burnley would have come in, you know, very confident. Yeah. Just, just put them down, just, just play your own football, and you'd be fine. Um, it's it'll be a weird game for them. You know, Wolves. I don't think they're they're the best suited for being favourites in a game. You know, that's that's the that's the thing with them. Yeah, they put it up to yeah. they, they did they did put it up to Villa. Um, it was a two 0 two 0 scoreline in Villa Park, but they did put it up to them. But again, you're missing you're missing Wang, you're missing Neto. Um, you're two kind of well, not kinda, you're two best attackers. So That's it was never gonna be easy for them. Yeah. Uh, right. So we're just big predictions there. Uh Johnny, start with you. Um Yeah, I, I I tend to think Wolves are just gonna be too good, but coming in into this time of season, I'm gonna say two one Wolves. Right. Rob? I'm I'm gonna say one one again. One. 
probably gonna go say I'm gonna say Wolves probably snatch a two one as well. Yeah, I just think just mm. about they'll get through it. Yeah. 